The solar eclipse now less than a week away, coming up on Monday, April 8th. And many of us are probably wondering how we can take pictures of it safely. Through Tanger Sides, Jeremiah Brown spoke with a photographer in Grand Haven on how he plans to safely take beautiful photos of the eclipse. One of the big things I, I wanted to do was more uh, something out of the ordinary. Anything celestial, any, any big event. Walter Elliott first got into photography and film when he was in high school. After embracing digital photography 10 years ago, he discovered his love for capturing the world above. So that was a very big learning curve for me. I didn't know what to expect, didn't know what to do. After photographing several partial eclipses, he was able to capture his first total eclipse in 2017. Now he has a few tips of his own to share. With a partial eclipse, I mean, you're going to need some type of filter, uh, however you're shooting it. If you are using a DSLR, you will also need a solar filter in order to capture a partial eclipse due to how bright the sun will still be and to avoid damaging your camera. If you happen to be in totality in that small band, uh, the biggest adjustments will be uh, as, as it happens. Elliot says those in the path of totality will need to remove their filter only when the total eclipse occurs and adjust settings very quickly as the sky will quickly change. It does get dark and you lose a lot of light and it's fine, but um, just be prepared because the, the moment that the diamond ring happens when the sun just peaks behind the moon and, or, and then you know that it's, it's just about over, it, that changes bright and be like looking at the sun again. Those who plan on using a phone will also need a filter, but you can find one with a pair of eclipse glasses. You can actually put them in front of your lens on a phone if you have that, and then you'll see exactly what it is. And, and it's basically, you know, it, it looks like a crescent moon, but it'll be a crescent sun. Elliot's biggest piece of advice, however, is not about the photo. I would say probably the most the most important thing is to just be present and, and, and be in awe of what's going on. I'm thankful that I took my son last time and I, my three youngest girls are going this time. Um, and just find somebody to share the moment with. Reporting for 13 on your side, I'm Jeremiah Brown. You had some great information there. Yeah. I learned something. I didn't know that about the glasses with the phone. That's a really good trick. And we're on your side answering your questions about the eclipse. Just text the word eclipse to 616-559-1310. You'll get a link with information about eclipse glasses, the path of totality, travel information, and so much more. And be sure to tune into 13 on your side starting at 2.30 Monday afternoon, April 8th, for complete coverage of the solar eclipse. Our team will be along the path of totality in different parts of the country and around West Michigan. Reporting on all of the angles. Well,